This is a review of Oakley sunglasses I have purchased uh, from Sunglass Hut. And uh, got different brands here, different type of designs. This is the Jawbreaker, as you can see here. It's a metal piece in there. It has some air vents on the sides. Um, a removable uh, nose piece right here. Um, this is the polarized lens. It's kind of reddish color. I don't know if you can be able to see it. There you go. And uh, it feels like a very cheap plastic type of sunglasses. Not gonna lie, it's all very like all plasticky. The good thing I like about it is very lightweight. Um, and these uh, hinges for your wrap around your head to your ears are not like very forceful. Uh, I know the other sunglass right here we're going to go over next that is very forceful uh, around your uh, ears or your head so it's like very irritating over a period of time. This one is not. It's pretty light. Uh, I like the very large lens. It covers a lot more sunlight. Um, this just feels like a very uh, cheap plastically type of sunglasses. Maybe all Oakleys are like that but this feeling is, is uh, definitely like that. Uh, right here um, the plastic is a matte -E, M A T T E type of plastic. So I guess when it rests on your, uh, you know, your cheekbones or your cheeks, uh, if you sweat and stuff, it doesn't deteriorate, I guess, or maybe it does over time. Uh, but it's a lot different than the plastic here. You see, the top one is very different. It's very shiny and glossy. So it has a two different type of thing. And right here on the bottom, it says polarized. So you have that in the bottom of it. On top you have Oakley and uh, and such. So um, I I like these sunglasses. They're pretty light. I like the the main importance of these is the large lens. Um, I like that a lot. But just the feeling. If you're paying over two hundred for these, it just feels like uh, you know something better. Like I don't know if like holding an iPhone compared to a old older Samsung, right? Uh, plastic feel towards uh, compared to a premium feel. Um, these are called, uh, right here it says always on the Oakleys when you purchase them, they have it right here on the side. Uh, it's called Radar. And um, and uh, these are great sunglasses. Um, they have these vents right here, I guess, for air to flow through. They have these rubberized um, ear pads. Um, kind of cool design. I like it. Um has the polarized on the corner right here, um, nose pad. Um, overall, the, the the gripes I have about this uh, these sunglasses is it's pretty small. So when you do wear them, you do have some um, coverage, sunlight coverage on the bottom right here. So I mean, they they kind of depends on your face and how you rest them, but. Uh, these are kind of small. I like bigger, uh, you know, if I want to pay for sunglasses to cover all sunlight, I want to get a little bigger ones. But these are fine too for direct, uh, you know, sunlight. Uh, that's my first gripe. The second gripe is um, these hinges over time. They're going to really irritate you if you're driving and such. So um, I just recommend, you know, trying these on, seeing if they, you know, how they fit on you, if you like them or not. But they're great for, let's say, sports so they don't fall off your head. Uh, I feel like for these, they might have a chance to fall off. Um, it's going to be pretty slim, but, you know, you never know. Um, so these are these feel like a little bit better quality. Um, still very plasticky. I mean, Oakleys are well known for that to be, you know, type of type of plastic. Um, whatever plastic they use. Um, the good thing about Oakleys is the impact resistance. So, I mean, they test them out. There's videos online where they put, like, balls and, like, you know, little sharp things, and they hit it on the glass to break it, and it doesn't break. So there's a specific standard for it. I forgot the name of the standard that they developed the lenses for, but they're pretty good lenses for sport activities. And by the way, all Oakleys, when you do get them, they're supposed to come in this Oakley case. Uh, this is another uh, jawbreaker. I actually like this one a lot due to the color. It's a more vibrant sports type of color. You know, you got the lime green dash white. This gives you a lot better characteristic of how the other jawbreaker we went over looks like in, in better color. Of course, you've got uh, right here on the side jawbreaker. That's where it states the name of it. 
and this is the more detail of it so you can see it does I mean this is not rubber by the way this is plastic they just put a different color there um, but they got different vents the nose piece is right there you got a metal piece I mean that, I think that you can be able to detach the lens on these glasses um, and they put other lenses so that's of all Oakley's by the way so it's a great uh, opportunity to do that uh, you got some design here you got Oakley right there the lenses are light blue these are not polarized lenses but those are uh, regular lenses there's only certain uh, with uh, sunglass hot you can be at certain color frames of uh, certain lenses and uh, these frames did not come with uh, polarizer didn't have the option to which is kind of weird but this is the metal piece right here that locks in the lens I guess um, so very very nice looking lens uh, good sturdy uh, case so um, that's a review of all three now you can see the red tint on that is very nice especially in the sunny areas it just gives that little uh, glare um, you know that little mirror glare, glare on the lens um, so this is a review of all three Oakley's if you guys do have any questions uh, please feel free to post them below and I can be able to answer them uh, any question uh, you guys may have alright thanks